keep your system clean and remove unwanted software using Revo Uninstaller. Stay tuned to find out more about how this free software can help you. Hello, my name is Oren from CompuMatter, and today I will be making a video on Revo Uninstaller, a really nice program that allows us to fully uninstall a program and any other things it might have still clinging on even if you just ran the typical Windows installer. Without further ado, let's get into it. So go ahead and open your preferred browser. In this case, I'm just going to use Firefox. And look up Revo Uninstaller. Alright, and then the top result here is the one you're going to want to click on. You don't have to pay for this software, so you can X out. And what I do is I go up here to the downloads. So this details what all this does. You can get a portable version that you can use on a USB stick or you can just have it installed on your system. In this example, I'm going to use this one. And then when it's finished, go ahead and open it up. It'll prompt you for admin permissions. Okay accept the agreement and then feel free to install it wherever you'd like. I'm just going to leave that at the default. And you can create a desktop shortcut if you'd like, if you'd like to have easy access to it. All right, let's get started on the install. And then we can leave that checked to have it launch. So this is what the program looks like, and you can also expand these or shrink these as needed by hovering over like so if you need more space to read what it's doing. So the first thing is if you have a program that's been really annoying or you can't seem to get rid of it, this would be a good tool to use to check and make sure that you fully clean up the software off of your system. So I'm going to scroll down until I find one I want to get rid of. This would be a great example. So say I want to get rid of this and then all remains of this application. So I'll click on the one I want to uninstall and then up here at the top there is an uninstall button. Now typically it advises you make a system restore point before uninstalling. I think that's a pretty good idea. System Restore is a very useful tool built into Windows that allows you to go back if some sort of corruption occurred or some sort of problem when uninstalling. And most of the time when you use this tool, the uninstaller that comes with the program itself will also launch. So you might get asked questions like these. All right, it says uninstall complete. You can hit OK. And then here's where Revo comes in. You can have it scan for remaining files like leftover files, folders, and registry items here. Typically moderate is a good one to stay at. Advanced is for when something is a little bit more intense, but it can also have a higher risk. So safe, it just depends. But I typically, for something that I want to make sure I get rid of, you make the restore point and then go with moderate. So go ahead and scan. Alright, so it tells me that it found some leftover registry items. So you can scroll down and see all of these here. Now, say I don't want any remains of this program on my computer ever again. I can just select all with this button down here, and I can delete these items. It asks, are you sure? You just hit yes. And sometimes when you uninstall a program, Revo gives you multiple things that it finds. Maybe it program files that were left behind, the uninstaller didn't fully clean it up, or things like that with just the registry items. In any case, it will find them and help you make the selection on getting rid of them. Besides the uninstaller here, another thing you can use this for is the Windows Apps button. This lets you see all of the applications that are on the computer pre-installed by Windows that you can uninstall. Microsoft Edge is not in this list. If you wanted to uninstall that, that's a, a huge process that would require a lot of additional work. 
but it does give you the option to remove apps like Cortana and if you didn't want to have all of these additional apps like Solitaire on it, you could remove them here too. So that is the main reason you'd want to go out and download Revo Uninstaller, but there's actually a lot more tools on this software that you might be able to get some use out of. For example, another option you have here is called Hunter Mode. When you select this on Revo Uninstaller, you get this little target symbol up here at the top right. You can use this and drag it over on top of a program that you would like to make some changes to, whether it be uninstalling or closing the task or figuring out where it lives in your computer. So when I drag it over and release, I get these options. I can uninstall, I can stop it from automatically launching on boot, I can end the process, I can also open where the file lives, search or view its properties. I'm going to go ahead and hit open containing folder just to show you. It pulls up where this lives and where the executable file is, which could be useful if you're trying to track down the source of something that you don't want on your computer and you're confused how it got there. So I'm going to go ahead and X out of that. So now that I know where it lives, I can go over to this target again, grab and drag it back onto the program and uninstall. So in this example, I noticed when trying this earlier, it wouldn't let me uninstall the program because it was open. So once you do this, and once this hunter mode area opens up, I'd recommend closing down whatever application you had there. And then continuing on with these steps. So it says run the built-in uninstaller. You can leave that checked if it's something that you think is safe, moderate, and then hit next and it'll automatically create a system restore point like earlier, except we don't have the option this time, but it's recommended anyway. So go ahead and go through all of the little prompts. In this example, it gives me an uninstall button for this software. It might give you surveys on whatever other software you're trying to uninstall. All right, uninstall complete. I can hit OK. And then I can use the scan button like the other tool allowed us to, to go through and make sure everything is fully cleaned up. So I'm going to select all and delete. And that's it. So when you're done using hunter mode, you can go up here to the target and right click. And it gives you some other options if you wanted to go through it to make it a little bit easier to see. But the main thing for using this is right click and then hitting open main window to bring back Revo uninstaller. So some other tools on this software are actually going to be in this tools menu right here. Go ahead and click on that. So what I find especially useful is this auto run manager here on the side. When you click on this, you can see all of the different startup apps that you have as well as things that are set to automatically launch in the background as a service. If there's anything in here that you're unsure of, I would definitely recommend researching it first before disabling it, just in case it's something that's important. But you can go through and check on this and clean up your system just in general, keep it from getting as slow when you have your computer rebooted. Sometimes people end up having a lot of startup apps and they don't even realize it. So this would be a good area to check for that and you can go in and you can uncheck anything you don't want. So that's the auto run manager. Another thing is the Windows tools right here. This is a really neat shortcut for getting to a lot of things like system restore. Um, we got services, add or remove Windows components. And then this one right here, both of these are corruption repair scans. So if you wanted to go in here and double click on this, if you're having some weird system slowness and you already know you have a solid state drive and things like that, and it just seems to be acting weird, I'd recommend going in here and running one of these after making a restore point. See if that helps resolve your issue. But all of these here are just really neat shortcuts to getting to places in Windows. Another tool here on the left is Browsers Cleaner. So with this, if you have a Mozilla Firefox browser or if you have Google Chrome, you can go in and you can clean up all of these by checking any boxes to delete your history or temporary internet files. And then when you've selected everything you want to clean up and remove, you can go up here to the top and hit the clear button. 
I'll say, are you sure you want to clear all of the selected history data? I have no attachment to the history on that browser. I just want to keep it clean, so I'll go ahead and hit yes. So when you do this process, you will have to log back into any browser websites that you were visiting, but it keeps it clean and it keeps it free of trackers. All right, there's that. It also gives you the option here on the sidebar if you had an older version of Microsoft Office, you can clean them up. That one's personal preference and it depends on what version you have, but it's still a useful tool that you might be able to utilize. And then Windows Cleaner gives you a lot of different options here, like emptying the recycle bin or temporary files are going to be really, really commonly used ones. Depending on how much you use your clipboard, this might also be useful. And then these ones are just dependent on, again, your use case if you need to go through those. One more thing is here on the bottom left, we have evidence remover. So if you have a bunch of deleted files that are confidential that you want to make sure if you were getting rid of your computer, you don't want it to be able to be traced. I'd recommend destroying the hard drive too, of course, but what I'd also recommend is this is a really neat tool for zeroing out those data files that you've already deleted. But just be careful and make sure you know what you're doing. If there's anything that you need to recover, you'd be wiping it out with this if you accidentally deleted something. And then this is the junk files cleaner right here. You can use the scan button here to scan for unnecessary files. This might take some time depending on your computer's speed. Alright, so after it loads for quite some time, it will go through and show you all of these temporary files. I have quite a few here that I could stand to get rid of. I no longer need them. Once you check through it, you can hit this delete button up here at the top. And that gets rid of all the temporary and junk files. So a few of these, it warns me that it can't delete these right now, so I'll go ahead and hit OK. No worries on that. I cleaned up about, well it said 2,000 megabytes, that's 2 gigabytes worth of temporary files, which is a decent amount. I hope you learned something new about Revo Uninstaller and how you can utilize the software to really take control of your Windows computer's temporary files, applications, and make sure it's in good health. Thank you for watching, and have a great rest of your day. Take care.